You may take few deep breaths to calm your body, calm your mind. And start the thought of living friendliness. <clears throat> Begin to feel friendly feelings. Although we do not know each other that well, we still can share the thoughts of loving friendliness. For the loving friendliness there is no stranger. Whether we know people or not, whether we are whether they are near or far relative to us or not. <clears throat> some may be related, some may not. It doesn't matter, there is no barrier, no barricade against the thoughts of living friendliness. That is why it is called boundless practice, appamanya in Pali, which means boundless, limitless. At least we begin to feel the same friendly feelings towards us and towards all around us, at least in this whole Right now, breathing together, feeling together, meditating together, aiming at gaining the same results, achieving the same goal sooner or later. We are all one family. With this feeling, we start. If you have gained any deep meditative concentration or jhana, you re should remember how you got it, the steps you followed, the way you attain it. And at this time, reflect upon them and go one by one, each step. Starting from the initial thought of friendliness, generosity and compassion, and joy, happiness and concentration. Don't rush, stay on each stage as long as it requires. Perhaps you may stay on one step until it becomes strong and firm and my mind becomes ready for the next stage. When the mind is ready, you don't have to wish to go to the next stage. It happens naturally. When initial thought is strong, it remains. 
as sustained thought, then arises confidence. When the confidence is firmly settled, established, rapture or joy naturally arises. When it is settled, established, and grown to a full strength, happiness arises. that leads to concentration. If you lose the concentration, don't worry, don't be disappointed, be gentle, kind to yourself, be friendly with yourself, that is absolutely necessary to be friendly with yourself, to repeat the process without getting upset or disappointed. Just relax and remember the ways, the steps. When you, at, when you want to attain it, you may determine to stay there longer and determine to get out of it and repeat the process. Unless the first attainment is very firm and strong, don't rush to attain the next stage. When the first stage is strong, first attainment, first jhana is strong enough, it naturally opens the way for the next one. When you keep attaining the first level again and again, you certainly will see the weakness of initial thought, because it is close to sleepiness and drowsiness. Sleepiness and drowsiness is the result of relax the body, relax the mind. At that time, sleepiness can arise. When initial thought arises, sleepiness fades away, not permanently, but temporarily. And therefore these two play a kind of hide-and-seek game. Sleepiness continuously haunts the mind. And when we attain the first jhana again and again, we see this. We see initial thought is not that strong. And because of its weakness, the first attainment is not that strong, although it is very peaceful, calm, relaxing. Even we don't feel pain, physical pain. As you see this weakness of the initial thought, gradually you lose interest in it. Only when it, the mind loses interest in it, then the mind goes to the second level of concentration. 
Therefore, at this level, don't force yourself to go to the second, but let that happen naturally as you lose interest in the initial thought. You cannot force it out of your mind deliberately. On the one hand, it is very wholesome thought. Friendliness, generosity and compassion are wonderfully wholesome thoughts. On the other hand, because of not eliminating sleepiness and drowsiness, this wholesome thought becomes weak. Greed can arise, anger can arise, thought of cruelty can arise. They also are behind, underneath these wholesome thoughts. So there are several things that can make the initial thought weak. As we keep attaining the first level again and again, the mind naturally skip that level and go to the second level. Until such time, don't force. If you attain the first level 10, 15, 20, 30, even 100 times, one of those more times that you attain the first level, as the mind loses interest in initial thought, one of those moments, mind just skips that initial thought bypass it and goes to the second level of jhana. Let that happen automatically. Just be prepared for it by repeatedly attaining the first level as many times as it is necessary. If you remain calm, peaceful, relaxed, full of friendliness, this happening is very natural. Even if you lose one step, don't worry, when you repeat, you can get it, catch it all. 